In honor of Black History Month, I bring you Craig Bedell from Springfield, Missouri. Craig was a lonely man who raised ostriches for the many Chinese restaurants in Springfield. He would always be seen riding his prized ostrich, Big Bad Charlie, or BBC for short. He dreamed of the day he could find someone to ride with him. He decided to put an ad in the paper to meet his soulmate. One glorious day later, he was sitting at home and he heard what he thought was a knock at the door. It kept getting louder and louder. Finally, he went to open the door, and to his surprise, it was Lucinda Knockknee Washington from around the way. Lucinda proclaimed she is here because of the ad in the paper. They soon decided to get married, but on the wedding day, her knees were knocking so bad, they started a fire from all the friction. She burnt the hell up. Months later, after being so lonely, he decided to put out another ad in the paper. He typed, Lonely wealthy man looking for someone to ride his BBC. The response was overwhelming. Towns and villages emptied of all their women. The line was 25 miles long of women mostly half naked and waiting to take a ride on his BBC. Legend has it, when he got them all to settle down, he then opened the curtain and introduced them to Big Bad Charlie. The ladies were furious and beat him within an inch of his life. He vowed to make it up to them and decided to get a list of their names. He called it Craig's List, and dating has never been the same since. Lester was born in Springfield, Missouri in 1804. In 1826, he attempted to run north to freedom. When he got caught, 15 minutes later, he was punished by having his legs cut off. He was determined not to let that stop him from gaining his freedom. His family was so poor they didn't have two sticks to rub together. But the one they did have, they gave to Lester. He worked out with that stick every day until he learned to balance and then later hop around. He came up with a plan to get out of the South. He was going to rob a bank and buy his freedom. Unfortunately, things did not go as smooth as he planned. Oh, he robbed a bank. That wasn't a problem. The problem came when he got up north and he realized real quick black people don't like the cold. It got so cold one night, he had no firewood, so he burned his stick. Yes, the only stick he had. He was found 15 days later, frozen like an ice cube. This is a Black History Moment by Superman. In honor of Black History Month, this is Marvis and Jarvis Bedell of Springfield, Missouri. Their mother, Dillo Bedell, died during their birth in 1910. Marvis was an inventor that didn't have much success. He tried to make a car that ran off of cannabis. He got the whole state of Missouri high. After he got out of prison, he found out his brother was depressed because he couldn't maintain an erection. Marvis made him a ding -a made from wood. He wanted to give it an extra kick, so he attached a plug to one of his cannabis car batteries. Soon women were coming from far and wide to try this amazing device. They called it the Dillo after their mother. It also came with a free set of tweezers. This is a Black History Moment from Supermail. In honor of Black History Month, this is Johnny One Ball Beadell, the greatest football player to come out of Springfield, Missouri. He was born with a really soft skull. His mother made a protector for him to wear. All the kids would make fun of him because they said his head looked like the top of a ding -a -ling. So his mama called it a helmet. One day he was playing with Cleet Washington. He always wore these shoes with spikes that his mama made to kill roaches. He accidentally stepped on one of Johnny's nuts and he was called one ball ever since. When he got older, his mother let him play on the football team. He was the best running back you ever saw. The coach would tell him to protect that ball like it's the only ball you got. Well, he had practice for that all his life. The one time he played defense, the coach told him, when you see the other guy with the ball, you shove that helmet in them hard. On that day, there were no tight ends. This is a Black History Moment from Superbell. In honor of Black History Month, this is Jarris Beadell of Springfield, Missouri. He was the first animal rights protester in the South. Jarris was born when he was two years old to Betty Sue Beadell, a chicken farmer. His mother noticed he was aging so fast his body couldn't keep up. He loved playing with their prized rooster. They called him Lil Pekka. He had a way of communicating with Lil Pecker, and they both understood each other. When he was just 54, five years later, his mother passed away. He did not know what he was going to do since he was still too small to take care of the farm. He decided to set his chickens free. 
Lil Pecker told him, why don't we send all of the chickens in the South free? So together with his army of chickens, they set out to do just that. Legend has it, one night near Joplin, Missouri, he couldn't find Lil Pecker. He looked high and low. He then heard a lot of commotion coming from a saloon, a saloon we are not supposed to go in. So he just stood outside and yelled, Lil Pecker! They never heard from him again. This was a Black History Moment from Superman. In honor of Black History Month, this is Benedictus Crop Killer Beedell of Springfield, Missouri. He was born into slavery in 1845. He was the top cotton picker in the South. He escaped eight times, but never got caught. He just simply went back because he didn't want nobody to beat his record. When slavery ended, he didn't know what to do with himself, so he bought 70 acres full of weeds. Oh, he tried to grow crops, but he found he was better at picking them than growing them. He soon married Betty Roundup Jenkins from across the way. They called her Roundup because she had a big booty, and when she ran, all the guys would round up and take bets to see how long her booty would keep moving after she stopped. The longest time was 14 days. Now, she wasn't much of a cook, so to keep from getting sick, Benedictus would sneak his plate out and throw it in the field. Over time, he noticed that all the weeds were dying where he threw the food. He then came up with the brilliant idea of selling her food to kill weeds. He named his company Orkin because he didn't know if his wife was just a friend or a kin. This is a Black History moment from Superman. This is a Black History moment. Napolina, Nappy Beedell, was born a man but lived his life as a woman. She was the first transgender slave on record. Historians believe that she did it to escape the harsh punishment that men received. Lucky for her, the master she served was Colonel Skunk Eye Washington. Old Skunk Eye wasn't blind. He just wouldn't open his eyes since he was a small boy. Legend has it, he was playing in the woods when he happened upon a skunk. He thought it was a cat. He picked it up and it sprayed him in the face. Ever since then, whenever he cried, his tears tasted and smelled like skunk piss. So he just kept them closed until his death. The death of old Skunk Eye was the beginning of her great life. She went on to star in the Olympics and won four gold medals. Little did Nappy know that this is where she would meet her future bride, Chris. She didn't notice that she was actually a he. Nappy, with his new bride, moved to sunny California, where she lived on and later became governor. Nappy lost in a landslide after the grabbed him by the ding-a-ling scandal. This was a Black History moment by Supermail. This is a Black History Moment. Napolina Nappy Beedell was born a man but lived his life as a woman. She was the first trans slave on record. Historians believe that she did it to escape the harsh punishment that men received. Lucky for her, the master she served was Colonel Skunk Eye Washington. Old Skunk Eye wasn't blind. He just wouldn't open his eyes since he was a small boy. Legend has it. <laughs> shit, I forgot where the fuck I was. <laughs> Legend has it. He was like, okay, <laughs> shit. I think because I got a pee so bad, I can't think. Okay. Don't <laughs> no, 